Now let's see about uh, optimization of basic blocks. Uh, we know what is a block. Block means uh, it contains a set of statements uh, which are executed in sequential manner. That is nothing but one by one. Uh, we can optimize the block also. That means uh, we can reduce uh, the number of lines in the block as well as uh, uh, if there are any unnecessary statements. Uh, we can eliminate uh, those statements also. Uh, in order to optimize a block, uh, we mainly follow five approaches. The first one is common sub-expression elimination. The second one is dead code elimination. Third one is renaming temporary variables. Fourth one is interchange of statements. Fifth one is algebraic transformations. So by using these five approaches, we can optimize a block. Now let's see the first approach. The first one is common sub-expression elimination. So common sub-expression means uh, it is an expression which is computed, which is uh, calculated previously and the values of the expression have not changed. If you consider this example, so this is an example for uh, first one that is nothing but uh, common sub-expression elimination. Uh, A is equal to B plus C, B is equal to A minus D. C is equal to B plus C, D is equal to A minus D. So in the right hand side we have two expressions. So B plus C, A minus D. So this is nothing but common sub expression. But uh, these values should not be changes. If those values changes, then it is not possible to perform the replacement operation. Uh, if we consider uh, A is equal to B plus C, A is equal to B plus C. Uh, so b is nothing but it is the first one it is not calculated next one c so is c is also the first variable it is not calculated second one b is equal to a minus d so that means uh, we are changing b value now what is b value b is equal to a minus d but previously b doesn't contain any value next statement c is equal to b plus c so here uh, the value of b is changing what is b value now a minus d so in place of b we can have a minus d plus c so that means the result of b plus c is changing so it is not possible to perform the replacement here whereas if we consider b is equal to a minus d d is equal to a minus d so here b is equal to a minus d so what is a b plus c minus d next one c is equal to b plus c uh, we don't have a minus d in the right hand side Next one, D is equal to A minus D. So previously, A value is not changed, D value is not changed. So we can say that A minus D is a common sub-expression. Why? Because this expression value is not changing. In the second statement as well as fourth statement, these two values are same. So we can replace this A minus D with B. Why? Because now A minus D will become redundant expression. Okay, here the values of A minus D are not changing. So we can say that this is unoptimized block. Why? Because we are calculating A minus D two times. So we can uh, translate this block into, so this one is nothing but optimized block. So there is no change in first instruction. A is equal to B plus C. Why? Because the value of B is changing here. Next one, there is no changing in second statement. B is equal to A minus D. No change in third statement, C is equal to B plus C. Next fourth statement, D is equal to A minus D. We have to replace A minus D with B. Why? Because the result of A and D won't changes after executing the second instruction. So the result is same here. So A minus D is nothing but the result of B here. So we can say that this one is nothing but optimized block. So what is the advantage here? There is no need to perform subtraction operation on A and D here. Directly we can substitute B value here. So this is known as common sub-expression elimination. So what is common sub-expression? It is an expression which is uh, computed already. But the values of the expression should not change. Okay? If it changes then it is not possible uh, to perform any replacement here. Then we can eliminate. We can eliminate this common sub-expression with the corresponding left hand side variable. Here we are eliminating A minus D. In place of A minus D we are replacing this left hand side variable that is nothing but B. 
so this one is nothing but unoptimized block this one is nothing but optimized block okay now let's see the next one dead code elimination it specifies the statements which are never executed if you execute it, then output is not used. If you consider this one, so two means dead code elimination. So this one is nothing but optimized block. Why? Because here the value of a is 0, a is equal to 0. If a double is equal to 1, a is equal to x plus i. But what is a value here? 0. 0 double is equal to 1. So condition is false. So every time this condition will become false. So this block won't execute. So we can eliminate these two statements. So the optimized block is a is equal to 0 is nothing but optimized block. We can eliminate these two statements. Why? Because these two statements never executed. Why? A value is always 0 only. But here what is the condition? A double is equal to 1, 0 double is equal to 1. So this is always false. So this body won't execute. So what is the optimized block here? It contains only the first statement. We can eliminate these two statements. Now let's see the next one. Renaming temporary variables. So if you want, we can rename the temporary variables also. So if we consider this one, t1 is equal to b plus c, t2 is equal to a minus t1, t1 is equal to t1 into d, d is equal to t2 plus t1. If we consider the first instruction as well as third instruction, here the left hand side variable is t1. Okay. So same variable contains uh, multiple values here. Okay. So whenever t1 contains some other value, then this value will be erased. So we can rename this uh, temporary variable to some other variable. So that we can have both t1 value as well as uh, this expression value also. Okay. So we can write as uh, the first statement is as it is. t1 is equal to p plus c. The second statement is also as it is. T2 is equal to A minus T1. Third statement, in place of T1, it is better to use some other variable. So that's why we are calling this one as renaming the temporary variable. So we have to rename the temporary variable. So let us assume that the next one is T3. So T3 is equal to T1 into D. So now T3 contains this result. T1 contains this result. Next, D is equal to T2 plus. So what is T1 here? So T1 means, now T1 is renamed to T3. So T2 plus T3. So now we can have a B plus C result as well as a T1 star D result. Okay. So in this way we can rename the temporary variables. So we can say that this one is nothing but some optimized block. Uh, and the fourth approach is interchange of statements. Uh, if we want, uh, we can interchange the statements depending upon the operations. Uh, let's take an example here. Uh, t1 is equal to b plus c. Next one, t2 is equal to a minus t1. t3 is equal to t1 into d. d is equal to t2 plus t3. Uh, we can translate these statements into t1 is equal to b plus c. Next, uh, depending upon t1, we can calculate t3 also. So we can, uh, we can interchange uh, these two statements here. Uh, so the second statement can be written as uh, T3 is equal to T1 into D. So depending upon T1 value, we are calculating T3. And the third statement can be written as uh, T2 is equal to A minus T1. And the last statement, adding of T2 and T3. So like this also, we can uh, interchange the variable. It depends upon our uses. And the last one is algebraic transformations. Uh, here, let like the statement is T1 is equal to A minus A. So the result of a minus a is 0 only. So instead of performing a subtraction operation, directly we can write as t1 is equal to 0. So this is unnecessary button on the CPU. And the next one t2 is equal to b minus t1. So what is t1? t1 value is 0 only. So no need to perform any subtraction operation. Directly we can write as t2 is equal to b. Next one t3 is equal to t2 into t. So this is nothing but multiplication operation. A multiplication operation is very very expensive operation. So we can replace that one with uh, left shift operator like uh, uh, t3 is equal to t2 less than less than. Uh, the, here we have 2. So we can write it as 1. So shifting of 1 means uh, multiply with 2. If we have 4 here, then we have to shift uh, 2 bits to the left hand side. Okay. So like this, uh, 
we have five approaches in order to optimize the block.